Acute Care Assessment Tool, or ACAT. As the name implies, this is designed to look at your management of the acute medical take, but may be used on a ward round or covering a day's management of admissions and ward work. A requirement for ACATs is that they should include a minimum of five cases. This is the major difference between ACAT and other forms of assessments, such as CVD or mini kicks, which are primarily about an individual case. ACATs, therefore, are looking at your broader management far more than focusing on one specific element of it, such as knowledge or examination skills. Areas that they look at may include your general decision making, your team working, your time management and prioritisation skills, your record keeping skills and handover abilities. The number of ACATs required is defined in the ARCP decision aid. It's perfectly acceptable to get specialty registrars or above to complete ACATs for you, and these may be linked to your curriculum, but check with your decision aid as to whether these will count towards your minimum number or not. It's generally expected that all five patients will be seen in one shift, unless you're working in a job where one shift may not cover this number of acute patients, in which case it's acceptable to cover a short period, such as a weekend. It's expected that the majority of ACATs will be done during either on-call periods, which may include night shifts, acute take shifts or out-of-hours ward cover work, as these are generally the settings where most trainees see large numbers of acute patients. We understand that different hospitals work in different ways, and so you may not see five patients with an individual consultant. Although the consultant completing the assessment should be aware of the details of all five patients, it's perfectly acceptable for them to discuss with their consultant colleagues who've seen other patients of yours to get up to the required number. It's also possible for them to discuss with a specialty registrar covering the period, the sister in charge, other allied health staff or anyone else that's worked with you in the shift. And indeed, this is highly recommended to get a broader overview of your acute care beyond the purely clinical elements. As hospitals have very different opportunities for you to complete ACATs, we highly recommend talking to your supervisors or other trainees in the hospital you're in to find out the best way to do them where you're working. It's generally felt that trainees who are proactive and ask a consultant at the start of a shift if they could complete an ACAT on the patients they see that take find it easiest to get them completed.